very, very careful. We need to go and we need to want to see if this really made some effect. S21 Plus, Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus, running the latest Exynos 2100. I did two videos, anti to benchmark, testing this nice phone five times in a row to not only test the peak performance, but also to test the sustained performance, which pretty much means how good is the performance over time when the phone really feels the heat, when you're gaming in it, like hours and hours and watching YouTube videos, preferably on my channel, for which you're probably not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel, guys. And the one of my Samsung update videos, there was this discussion where people were absolutely not happy. Some people claiming to have 70% lag or delay when playing games. Now, of course, they were not using the S21, but something else drew my attention, okay? There is a person here, Ishtan Ali, he claimed that when going into the recovery mode and then wiping the cache or clearing the cache, the phone performance improved. All right, what do we need to access the recovery? First things first, power off the phone. Holding the power button, click here on power off. Then you need to prepare a USB cable, stack it up the laptop, connect the cable to the phone while connected to the laptop. And now's the funny part. Now press and hold the power button and the volume up. Okay, phone will restart. Don't release the button yet. Okay, see, Android recovery. So first thing done. Now, how do we navigate there, guys? You can go up and down using the volume buttons here, the volume rock, okay? So be very careful, guys. Here, be very, very careful. We need to go and we need to wipe the cache partition, okay? There is something other called wipe data. Don't do this, because this will reset your phone. Wipe cache partition. Once you're here, guys, just press here the power button. This is going to act as the enter, all right? Android recovery, use all up, up and down. Wipe cache, okay, scroll one more time to yes, press now the power button and you see, wiping cache, cache complete. Now what we're gonna do guys, we're gonna go and we're gonna press one more time the power button to reboot the phone into the system. And of course you can disconnect the USB cable. So guys, I really hope that you're gonna get some improved performance while using your device. So this was the first trick really, is to clean the cache from the recovery. The second thing I want to show you today is optimizing the phone from a device here. If you don't have the button here, just go into the settings. Okay, it's very easy. Scroll down to battery and device care. If you want to get the button, by the way, click here, right? Then you can just add it to the home screen or to the app screen. And once you're there, just hit optimize. Now, you see, it's going to detect if there are any apps using the battery or any apps causing problems. And actually this is going to optimize the phone. But we don't stop here, okay? I wanna show you also a third trick. So trick number three. Open Galaxy Labs. And if you, by the way, for some reason, guys, don't know what Galaxy Labs is, make sure you watch my video here. Every time I do update my phone, I use Galaxy Apps and I use the Galaxy App Booster to actually optimize my applications, right? So now it is three tricks. First one, again, is wiping out the cache partition. Second one, optimizing the device from the device care. And now the last one, optimize now, is with the Galaxy App Booster. You see, I have almost 700 applications. So I hope, guys, you're gonna get some improved performance while playing your games and generally using your phone. So let's do a final recap. First thing is cleaning the cache from the recovery. Second thing is optimizing it from the device care. And thing number three is using the Galaxy App Booster from the Galaxy Lab. These three tricks are gonna help you to hopefully fix the problems with the performance that you have, not only on the S21. If you like videos like this, you might consider to subscribe for my channel. That will be really greatly appreciated, guys. Please, you and your families stay safe. And with that said, VST over and bye.